Today's lesson is about representing and describing transformation. If you like, you can write down the essential question. And when you are done, we will move on. Before we get started, we need to know the definitions of a transformation, pre-image, and image. So our problem for today is find the unknown coordinates for each transformation and draw the image. Then complete the descriptions of the transformations and compare the image to its pre-image. There is four parts to this question. The first one is to find the unknown coordinates. The second one is draw the image or the prime numbers. Then we have to write a, des a description to explain our answer. And then we have to compare the image to the pre-image. The questions has already show us what we must do at the very beginning, which is find the unknown coordinates. And to find the unknown coordinates, we must know the y-axis and the x-axis. And this is the y-axis and this is the x-axis. A starts from zero which is the x-axis and the y-axis you have to go up one two three four five and then you meet where the y-axis is at and then we're looking for B the x-axis is one two three four and the y-axis stay the same as zero C. Now C stays the same for both x axis and y axis. Now that we know the unknown coordinates, we must draw the image. But before we can draw the image, we must know what the image is. So to find the image, we have to follow this rule and, and plug our A b and c coordinates in to this formula. As the formula says here, x is being multiplied by 2. So here on number on segment a, on point a, 0 is x. 0 is multiplied by 2. 5 is y. Stay the same. And this is the answer. And you do the same thing to b and c and all these answers right here is equal to a prime, b prime, and c prime, which means we have found the coordinates for the image. The next thing that we need to do is plug in these coordinates for the image. And how can we do that? Is now let's move this over here. Now let's graph a prime, b prime, and c prime. A prime is equal to zero and 5 and b prime is equal to 0 and 8 actually it's 8 and 0 that was my bad 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 let's draw a little bit more line right here and now that equals to b prime c prime stays the same as 0 comma 0 now Let's connect the lines from A prime to B prime. Bringing this back and let's compare. As you can see, pre-image was much smaller than the, the image right here. This is the image and that's the pre-image. And that's how much it has changed. So on the questions right here, the third thing that we need to do is the description. And the fourth thing is compare the image to its pre-image. So let's get over here. I wrote a description right here as an example that the transformation had moved twice to the right. That means it has changed the size of the shape. And a comparison to the image and the pre-image, it is a non-rigid and it becomes a stretch. A non-rigid means when it is changing the size of the shape. And that is the end of our problem from representing, describing, transformation. And we have done it all. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.